our cool down today, we're going to get down on the ground and we're going to make our way to hands and knees. So I'm going to have a neutral back, um, so I'm not rounding my back or arching my back. I'm staying here in neutral back. I have that bit of a scoop in my lower abdominals, core engaged, and then I'm going to extend one leg out behind me and I'm going to land on my toes. And from here, I'm just pushing, starting through my hands, all the way through my body, and I'm pushing that heel away. Getting a nice stretch, especially into my calf muscles, my, into my heel and the bottom of my foot. And once I'm here, I'm just breathing. Um, a modification here, if this does not feel good for your arms or your wrists, is you can do this down on your forearms as well. So your choice. And then keeping that leg extended, we're just gonna slide the toes across midline out to the side. So now I'm also getting more of a stretch into this outside of my hip. And then I'm just holding here and breathing. Nice full breaths when we're stretching. Enjoying this part of the workout. This is the, the nice part. Bring, slide the toes back behind you. Bring your knee down. Other leg's gonna extend out, landing on toes, pushing that heel away. Slowing the breath down. Slide the toes across midline, bringing the stretch into the outside of the hip. Stay here for a couple more breaths. When you're ready, slide those toes back come down onto your knees and we can finish here with a child's pose by letting our hips fall towards our heels, letting our arms either reach forward or stack hands under your forehead and come down, send your breath to your back. And you can stay as long as you want in your child's pose. Have a lovely rest of your day.